Welcome to the town of Pripyat. We're not going to be here for very long. It's a decently sized map and there's probably a lot to do. We're just not going to be here very long. By the way, here's a feature you'll never fucking use, third person perspective. I, you've, yeah, you're right, you've never used this. I didn't know you could do it. It's pointless. This is the first time that I knew I had it. Uh, did you? I remember at one point I panicked and started mashing F buttons to get to my heel, and then I was like, wait a minute, why am I third person view? Ah, and then I died. <laughs> yeah. At least in Fallout you could use third person view to look at your cool clothes. In this game you just look like a military doof. Are you already exhausted? What the heck? That's all these guys. Oh. Every time someone runs, they just pant heavily. So, if you pardon me for mentioning this, Thorn, this is about the point of the game when it starts becoming an Uwe Boll movie. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Look who's here. Wait, isn't this, aren't these duty soldiers? No, they're loners. Okay, I thought they were duty, I was like, doesn't duty hate you? I think they purposefully give you someone who's not connected to a faction so they can help you out and not kill you. Okay, that makes sense. We're making our way through Pripyat, and there are a bunch of monolith guys just hanging out on these apartments. Like you do. And this is kind of why I use stuff like the um, the G36 and others, because at this point in the game, you're going to be getting a lot of the white bullets. I think they're NATO rounds? I don't know. I think at least I'm using an Oboken and not an AK. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that dude's just freaking out. What the <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh bullets, my weakest. No! Oh! I don't get shot too much out here, but they don't get shot by me too much either. Hashtag stalker fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> you were shooting a leaf, Thorn. Well, that leaf got fucked up. There's a trooper. Ow. Don't you have that sniper rifle? I think I ran out of ammo. Oh, okay, yeah. You have an excuse. If it's the Ventoras, I think it's the Ventoras, you should be getting ammo from the soldiers. If it's the Dragonov, yeah, that thing's hard to get ammo. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Sweet. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty degrees. You know, a personal thing in games like this and first-person shooters, I've always preferred games where you're like a lone badass rather than when you have a group of people. Because a lot of games with like really realistic graphics like this or like Call of Duty or something, it's it's hard to tell who's your ally and who's an enemy. Yeah, I that's a very that's a very distinct problem that you could have when you're first playing this game. Like, I, I noticed that because I was playing Wolfenstein recently, and I'm like, oh, is that guy an enemy? Oh, yes, he is, because he's not me, so I'm going to shoot him. We do have the mini-map, at least. Oh, yeah. What? God damn it. Well, oh, you didn't save. <laughs> How much did you have to replay? The whole sequence. Yeah. Ah, Christ. The G36 makes me laugh because the reload animation makes... is like, typical is like, you move the clip, you put it back in, but then you like, flick this little handlebar, it just believes your scope, and I'm just like, what is that tiny little thing? What's it for? Boing. That was 19 bullets for the Ventores, so... Thorn might be able to do some long distance gameplay here? You would hope. <laughs> I say might. I would go insane playing this game. That's why I have those guys. The monolith are kind of a big jump in difficulty from what you're used to, so it could be a little tricky because 
Half the time, monolith soldiers will have. Oh, here we go. Yeah. This is not a sniper rifle, but it'll, it it like, it has unique ammo. Oh, you notice that guy's green. I think just because I was in this fight with them, they're now my allies. Underground car park. We must be right in the center of Pripyat. Keep quiet. Monolith's headquarters are close by. Move on. We're about to make it to the station. Yeah, Monolith's held up in the Palace of Culture. I've never gone there because you don't need to. The Monolith leader has a sniper rifle, and that's about it. It's completely optional. I don't think I've ever done that if it exists. I didn't ever do that at all. This place, though, this sucks. Yeah. Car park where you can't see anything. Welcome to Extreme Paintball. <laughs> With bullets. <laughs> also known as war. Oh, could have fooled me. Because this place looks like a paintball arena if I've ever seen one. What? I did not mean to drop my gun. Was that container shooting you? I think it was the guy inside it. He managed to get his gun. He threw the G36. <laughs> oh, porn. This is a mess. Um. Oh. Oof. Yep, it was just a guy in a container. Yeah, because all I saw was the <laughs> muzzle <laughs> flash. Oh. <and> the <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what? I'm looting. <laughs> Let me get my stuff. I read marked one as naked one. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did too for a second. <laughs> Naked one, we need you to put some pants on, man. We're in Pripyat. So they're gonna hang out here, and I gotta continue on myself. Thank you for taking us to our underground garage apartment. We appreciate it. You're gonna rob this man blind. Yep. Hey, I'm gonna trade him blind. What do you need money for? You're in a fucking war zone. <laughs> Just in case. You never know. To pay off the enemies, obviously. To pay for the war debt. You walk into the last bit of, uh, Pripyat and just some dude in trench coat says, WELCOME! <laughs> oh, shit. That dude has a Gauss rifle. Oh my god, can you go get it? Please? Not that one. Oy. Really? Because I think you could get really lucky with that depending on how physics plays. Yeah, if he drops it down the building, maybe, but he didn't. Ah. The Gauss Rifle, it's a sniper laser. What? Kind of like the Samurai from Nightfire. You shoot someone in the head with that, they die. Okay. In fact, you shoot someone anywhere in their body twice, they die. There is a slight catch, though, in that your, your ammo is, like... What are those, like, crazy rectangular cube-like batteries that they put in, like, giant flashlights? That's your ammo, and it's not easy to find. It's rare beyond belief. It's like a screen killer. I won't say screen killer, but if you want someone to die, they're gonna die. Oh no, it's the AK! Kill it! Don't do it! Kill it! Put it away, Thorn! It's the Oboken, it's the good one. Sure, we'll see once you start shooting at something. <laughs> it's not the G36, I don't care. Look at all the armor-piercing rounds I have. It's a waste not to use them. Dude, go on the Ferris wheel over there, you'll get great elevation. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a waste not to use them. <laughs> Therefore, I'm wasting them. No, no, Jacob, you don't understand. Thorne's got to wait for a helicopter to fly underneath the Ferris wheel. Then he's got to Zendatsu the Ferris wheel to drop it on the helicopter, killing it instantly. Of course. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Go in the hotel. So this is the hotel that the guide was actually telling us about. Guide or doctor? The doctor. The guy is the guy who pointed us to the doctor. Yeah. The one time I actually care about story, stalker. <laughs> yeah. 
Ugh, this place is gnarly. And here it is. It's not a hard stash to find. Oh my... I never find that. I always take like 20, 30 minutes looking around the stupid building to find it. And you find like five seconds. This sucks. I'm mad. And you got an armor upgrade and then <laughs> physics went weird for a second. Ah. I'm currently inside the suit that I just dropped. There we go. Oh yeah, they dropped the dragon off. You dropped the dragon off. <laughs> Bye, sniper rifle! We'll never see you again. Didn't have any ammo. Yeah, yeah. Why we used all the ammo in the world. It's useless. It is a little ridiculous how the Dragonov comes and then goes and there's never any ammo for it. Especially like This game really hates sniper rifles cuz they know. They know if you give the if you give a player a sniper rifle they're going to be a huge bitch. Oh no. <laughs> Just a guy with an RPG, who somehow knew I was there. The Fist of Stalin's coming for you, Thorn. Oh no, <laughs> the Fist of Stalin. <laughs> In 2000's Chernobyl. 2000's yeah. Chernobyl. This dude, zombie radiation Stalin. Uh-oh. See, that's his, that's the roar of zombie radiation <laughs> Stalin. I mean, you're not wrong. Just see a gigantic, like, South Park-esque cutout of Stalin in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you want to see something wild, Jacob, try and play the uh, Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie it trilogy. Um, at the end of it, you fight giant zombie Hitler. Oh, that is great. And it looks... I don't want to say bad, but man, it looks dumb. It's so stupid. I need to look that up, damn. So this area is cool because the Ferris wheel is an actual location in Pripyat. Ooh, should go there. And a sniper outpost, apparently. I've never been here. Yeah, like, I'm right underneath a sniper guy. I don't think he's facing at me. The guy with the Gauss rifle is. Two of them. So I need to keep moving anyway. But there's a guy right above me. I think it was the guy with the RPG, but he can't see me right now, so I'm fine. Right now. What I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying to head to the football stadium. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, you mean football or football? Football. Ah, uh, okay. You're American footballs. Mm, get back here. <laughs> yeah, see? I'm the one gangster in Ukraine. So the stadium is interesting. In the unmodded version of this game, the unpatched version, this cutscene plays, and then you just cut straight to the nuclear power plant. Ah! Oh. I did a mod that fixed a few bugs, so we get to experience it properly. I don't want to experience this. The fuck is this game? The field itself is full of anomalies, you could see some of those flesh just getting caught in whirly gigs and dying. Whirly gigs. Oh, I know. I have a perfect description for this. This is American gladiators, but in Russia. <laughs> Ukraine. Thank you. Never gonna get that right. But yeah, you gotta go through anomalies. You gotta avoid gunfire. Then you got the four rocket. You got laser, blazer, taser in the back <laughs> with the rocket launchers. Dude. It makes the oh my god. <laughs> Why did you stop in midair? I didn't. I got caught in something, and then I got blasted. Nice. Dude, the next the, the next time I go clubbing, I'm gonna wear my laser blazer. <laughs> I'll shoot you with a taser. Oh, goodbye, Thorn. Oh, dang, you got out. It's okay. No, it's not. No, it's fine. If only I could escape. I'm trying to move. I can't. Oh, you're caught in a whirly kick on the other side of the thing. <laughs> We're good. Destructible environments are very hard to program. Ah, yeah. Uh, well. So what do I actually need to do here? It's really dumb, but uh, just go around. Yeah. Oh. It's so simple. Just walk. <laughs> Running track. There's nothing on the perimeter. 
The rocket guys don't even see you. I think this is how they patronize the player. This track doesn't even have any lines. Oh, those got those got fucking microwaved when the nukes hit when the uh, when the reactor blew, dude. Does, does that happen? Well, you know, tr like Chernobyl, boom. So I'd imagine. Well, I know that, but I didn't know if that would like evaporate paint. It didn't explode like a nuke. Well, I thought, like, <laughs> you know, radiation would. Eh, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, here we are finally at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The military is attacking. We gotta get in there without dying. Good luck. It isn't easy. Hey, Jacob, look. Sniper rifle. Wow! Get it. <laughs> and we have bullets for it. And I will actually use this gun. Yay. <laughs> because it's very accurate. Yes. There's a slight problem, though. Oh, my God. So, um... This place sucks. Oh, yeah. Of course, all these guys have snipers. Wait. Take them. I think those are Dragonov rounds. I'm not in a good place to just stand around. You could be like one of my buddies and have your quick save there just before a bullet hits you, killing you instantly every time you load a save. <laughs> That happened to one of my friends in another similar game, uh, Metro 2033, and he kept bitching because he said he had to restart the entire game because the game had autosaves. He's dumb. It was he just needed to load the chapter. I can say with full confidence he will never watch this video, so I can openly mock him. <laughs> oh. You don't want his attention. Okay, I'm almost done with the easy part. Oh, thank God. Can't wait to get to the brutally oh, difficult part. No, are you? Oh, no, Thor. Um. I just need to get inside those doors. No, you don't, Thorn. I hate how tiny this gun is. There's a hole in the wall a couple feet back, Thorn. No, well, I didn't see it, but I saw that tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so did I. And I see that rocket! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a mess, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of rockets, Gauss rifles everywhere, guys shooting at me in general. And I need to run forward, try not to die, and find the entrance to the sarcophagus. Ugh. Oh, try not to die. It was a nice light breeze. So, Jacob, have you ever heard of the term rocket tag? Um, I'm not sure. Welcome to the Rocket Tag Olympics. And here's the second blowout. Can't wait. Oh my god, things are getting shakity. Yep. This is kind of the point where I just used up the rest of my energy drinks because I'm just over my max encumbrance. Oh my god, all oh, this radiation! I feel like if you take more than three energy drinks at once, your heart should just explode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that sequence was kind of sick. Just running and watching all the radiation and all the explosions in the background. That was really cool. Mm hmm Our sniper rifle is almost out of bullets. Almost. That is less cool. That almost felt like a scripted sequence. How, like, the faster you ran, the more, like, the more shit got all yucked up. Like, the blowouts in this game are really cool. Holy shit. This game is getting badass. Yeah. Once you get to Chernobyl, shit goes down. It's pretty fun. As if I haven't nitpicked this game enough, I feel like this game could really use a better soundtrack. Like, or, or, like, times like this. Like, where it's some kind of, like, triumphant, fucking, almost spooky orchestral song. That'd be pretty sick. I gotta take a hatchet to your argument there. I don't think it needs a better soundtrack, Jacob. I think it just needs a soundtrack. Exactly. It needs more soundtrack. Made it. And now the weird shit. 
I assume that was brighter when you were playing it. No, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Because oh, you just like looked at. I saw no box. What the fuck? Иди ко мне. You're gonna be hearing that a lot. That's the voice of the wish granter. Stalin? <laughs> <laughs> it is I, Stalin from the grave. I shall grant you one wish for communism. Вознагражден будет только один. No, I can't see this guy. Our good friend here is not gonna shut up either. Ha, give away your position! Иди ко мне. Ты обретешь то, что заслуживаешь. Иди ко мне, see? Yes, I got my own ghost rifle. Oh, yeah. Gonna be fucking. This is how I'm getting through the fucking power plant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Need to manage a few things. So, uh, the pellicle can walk. What the <laughs> Oh my god, I've never seen this! Oh my this. god. <laughs> See how the sun shines bright. It's a walking peaches. You know what this is? This is garbage in the wind, just floating on beautifully. <laughs> he looks so happy. Yes, I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh, wow. I really wish I knew about that artifact, because I've never seen that. It's magical. I did not want this cheese. Oh, what? Were you blocked by That's the... That's better. Oh. Three? There we go. Oh, wow, you have more than five. Now this is a fucking gun. Yeah, hell yes. Oh, look at it, so spiky. That's something you don't want inside. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm glad you stopped. Well, I only have so much ammo for it. And there's a lot of guys. Going back on Jacob's argument about how visual distinction is a problem, like it really much is because enemies in the zone, in like uh, Chernobyl NPP, tend to blend together because they're the gray monolith soldier like suits on gray atmospheres with like fences in your way, so you can't really tell when you want to use, say, your railgun on the big bad dude with power armor. This game is just very monochrome, and I'm, I'm there a lot of games at this era were, and I'm kind of glad we're starting to get away from that. Yeah, you want to know what game cool game has color? Divinity Original Sin 2. That game has color. I, I've heard that game is good. Yeah, like I'm having fun being a lizard that just, you know, stabs people. Stabs. There's a couple of guys back there. That's why I threw that. Oh my. Yeah, they're coming after me. Didn't work. Didn't work. That is not a couple of guys, Thornton. That is a gaggle of guys. A gaggle of guys. It's still two of them. And they don't care anymore. I turned on my voice modulator, Mark One. Do you like it? I'm talking with my twin. Ha. Ha. Wait, what gun is this? Hoboken. Oh. Vindicated. Whoa. I refuse to believe it actually did something. I like how every time you take something off a dude, he like twerks a little bit. Yeah. Woo. I feel like with how long Thorne's been using very similar assault rifles, there should just be fan art of Jacob and me smacking him with like a... Uh, with like those uh, paddle boards for, in like college prep dorms saying, Use a sniper rifle! <laughs> paddle boards? Cricket bats, that's it. Oh. <laughs> paddle boards. Yes, yes, we hit Thorn with oars. Big bad paddle boards. <laughs> we just... Also, you are going to be hyper radiated, buddy. Yep. It's you worth it. Arena. Big shock, the Chernobyl power plant is quite irradiated. <laughs> yeah, really. At least it makes it easier to see. 
I forget what it's called. It's either called the um, Medusa's head or like the elephant's foot, but there is like... Elephant's foot. Elephant's foot. There's just like a massive... We brought it up multiple times. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just stop. <laughs> it's so fascinating though. I really think it's neat. Like, it'll never be safe to go to in our lifetime, but I really wish I could just explore the power plant. We need to make contact with aliens first, and then someone could just walk in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone who it's actually more dangerous for them to breathe regular air rather than Chernobyl air. I'm sorry, did you just one-shot that dude with a pistol? What? And again. Yeah, they're hydroshock rounds. Ah. Hydroshock rounds. Wait, does that mean... No, there is no water in them. No, like, that would work. Like, it, like they're, they're bullets filled with water, and they, like, let out some kind of static electricity when they hit something. I brought this exact argument up with a gun nut, I know, and he confirmed to me, no, there is no water in hydroshock rounds. <laughs> I'm saying it'd be a good idea. Maybe I should make guns. They're going to hit us with water bullets, Jacob. What's next, fruity flavors? <laughs> Quit being mean to me. <laughs> that is a reference only a certain movie buffs would know. I think every reference you make is a reference that only certain movie buffs will know. Yeah, yeah. I could reference murder tires. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. There, there was that one movie about a murderous tire. I know yeah. that one. Everybody watch Rubber. It's fantastic. Oh, I am not happy about this place. This place sucks. Yes! 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 Get it, Thorn! Yes! The 200 meter foot. <laughs> Excuse me? So, I believe I mentioned it before, this is the best white bullet assault rifle in the game. I forget what it's called. I call it fish gun, because it looks like a fish. Fish Gun has, I want to say, a 40 bullet magazine, a scope, and a built in grenade launcher. It's really good, and you only get them here. It does look like a fish a little bit. He is so dramatic. <laughs> he like, had his head, arm over his forehead, like, oh. How could you do this to me? By God. I've been killed. So I never realized how much radiation was here, mainly because whenever I come in here, I just use the uh, Sava suit. Where are you? Uh, not far from where I'm going. <laughs> I'm not far from my objective. That's all you need to know. You know, this guy would be a little bit more intimidating as we hear him if he didn't just sound like a dude with a blue yeti in his bedroom. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, he just sounds, he's just a regular dude. There's no ghostliness about him. He's, he's a ghost, right? Sort of. He's a something. What are you doing? What the? I gotta protect this to see if... Hey. Oh, no. How did he hear you? Fuck that. How did he... How did he, he shot him in the head. Well, I guess at that range of silence, there's not exactly silent. But... Damn, that is! Oh my god, he's thick as hell. Eddie, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't look at my soldiers' butts, man. They are for me to stare. Ghost, I could ghost around to any booty. Wait, are you out of anti rays I don't think so. We <laughs> Thank you for the gun. Here, have my gun. I don't need it anymore. They don't let guns in heaven. Ah, uh, I thought you were going to heal yourself by <laughs> using 80 bandages like I usually do. Don't bring guns in heaven. I hope they're all like different cartoon characters on the band-aids. Just covered with them all over your clothes. I'm pretty sure I brought this up, but I'm gonna bring it up again. There's a very famous stalker comic that brings up this behavior where a dude just got out of a battle and he's like, hang on a second, I need to heal, I'll be right with you. And he's just like mummified in band-aids. His boy's <laughs> like, did you just use, yes, I used all 43 of my band-aids. Of course you did, let's go, buddy. 
I'm reminded of the Alone in the Dark game. Which where one? all of your scars, the, the fucking terrible one, where, like, all of your scars are, like, patched on top of your clothes. Jacob, you shut up about 2008. That game was great. It was so terrible, it was great. <laughs> I have a history with that stupid fucking game. It was a bad game, and fuck you anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I ain't got your wish. Oh, oh my god, what? I didn't do that. But I'm thankful anyway. I think someone tried to grenade you, that's awesome. I think it was our ghost voice actor. I'm bored now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that guy had another ghost rifle, so hey, more ammo. I felt like a dude passing through while you were menuing, so I thought he was just gonna cap you. Who hit me? Man, that shotgun fucking vaporized you! There's your spooky voice. Oh wow, I'm spookeronied. Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob spookeronies, now with 10% more, more Russia spook juice. There's so many guys up there. Yeah. Ugh. I don't want a single drop of anything called Russian spook juice. <laughs> it's just vodka, what are you worried about? We call it juice, it's just vodka. Ooh, nice. There are so many- what? <laughs> <laughs> Down the stairs. It's a shortcut. You didn't save once during that, did you, Thorn? I don't know. I think I saw him save a few times. Okay, good. I thought he had to do everything from there again. I feel like if he did, it'd be memorable enough for him to remember. Yeah, he'd Photoshop in, like, some kind of abominable scream. <laughs> yes, Photoshop in, what am I talking about? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say an abominable snowman. <laughs> so yeah, let's put, a, let's put an abominable snowman right here. Thanks. Thanks. What kind of sale is dish? Like, it's not what he's saying, but I, I distinctly hear Dwight says this. <laughs> <laughs> ED coming, yeah. So this one side path is the way to the wish granter. Is that just a bunch of birdhouses? No, they're cinder blocks. Oh, they look like birdhouses. This is where radiation is, like, right at max. Uh, one wish. One wish. At the cost of your entire lymphatic system. And if you wish for a repaired lymphatic system, it just laughs at you. <laughs> you That's a funny joke. Here, have it back. Oop, it gone! Uh, radiation, buddy. Oh my god, look at that holy entrance. Yeah, that is a portal. Those only show up here. Is this sci-fi enough for you, Jacob? We got portals now. Was this before or after Valve's, like, slam dunk game? Uh, 2007, I think, Portal came out. Yeah. This is around the same point, then. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting coincidence. Wow. Oh man, this game totally ripped off Portal. Yeah. I can't believe it. Game sucks. Game Newell's a hack. <laughs> well, with how Steam's operating nowadays, hmm. Not far from the truth. Oh no. Drink a Red Bull Thorn. Just explode your heart. Kickstart your heart with a shotgun. Kickstart your heart, give it a start. Oh yeah, baby. I don't know what you did. I, I can't Motley crew for this. <laughs> he just equipped something to give him more stamina instead of blowing up his heart with, um, Gojis. Well, I, at least I know one Motley crew song I can't reference with this game. Girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Got him! Oh boy. Here we go. Anyway, time for a wish. Look at this motherfucker. You want a monolith? This is a monolith. I didn't know it was like translucent. Wow, that's actually kind of neat. Gonna walk in it? We're gonna walk right into it.
I want immortality.
He's blind? Yeah. He is blind. He just said, I want the zone to disappear, so... This bitch doesn't know how to get a wish. You know you have to be <laughs> as specific as possible. Yeah, yeah. And he was, like, the least specific possible. I want to be immortal. Do it. Oh, no. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea. It's like, I'm a mortal. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, how many hittings was that, Thorn? It was like five? Five, yes. So we have Why? one ending left? We have two endings left. <gasps> right. So you'll recall, the doctor pointed us in the direction of that decoder in the hotel, and I picked that up. The wish granter did not require access to it. There's still another location in the power plant, and I need the decoder to access it. That is going to be part 14. We'll see both of the endings there, and that will be the end of the LP. Also, hobo boxing. And hobo boxing. Now I have a few questions. Mm-hmm. First one, when you said that you had to be poor, did you have to be poor at the moment at the end of the game, or did you have to be poor kind of consistently throughout? I think it just takes tallies at the end of the game, doesn't it? Yeah, it's at the end of the game, how much money you have on your person. Oh, so you could just spend it all on bullshit and then get that kind of ending? Yeah, I want to be a farmer. <laughs> I have a question, how do you dispose of money near the end? Because once you get past the Red Forest, you're not finding anyone to dump all this money on. Just something you have to plan ahead for, I guess. Yeah, sounds like it. I somehow managed it. I got the immortality ending, and that requires you to not have 50,000 rubles. Well, 50,000 rubles is not hard to get. You could beat the game without ever going to this place. I'm kind of baffled as to why you would want to go here. There's always the fun of getting the evil ending, ooh, but they're all so dissatisfying. I'd be so mad if I got any of these endings. What we're seeing right now, Jacob, are gag endings. They're false endings. The entire sequence of meeting Ghost to find Guide, Guide taking you to, to Doctor, who tells you about the secret of the uh, stash. All of that is a side content that the game never really points you at. Like, that's just ancillary oh. stuff that you find. If you play the game like I did the first time, and just say, I'm going to kill Strelok. Strelok must die. I must complete my objective. You will not know about Guide. You'll not know about Ghost. You'll not know about Doctor. And you won't know any about this. So when you go to Pripyat, you don't get the stash, which means you don't get the information. And then you're like, oh, the wish grantor. I done it. Yay me. I get the wish. I want to be rich. Crunch. <laughs> Oh, I get it. All right, that meant that that's a lot better now. So it's kind of like a secret. Pretty much, yeah. The true endings are very much a reward for people that actually put in the effort to find the secret of who you are instead of like fulfilling your objective. Yeah, okay, that makes because if those endings were any endings of like significance and actuality, that would be fucking awful. Yeah, that's why when I first played, I was like, is this really a fucking ending? This blows, dude. And I'm like, I'm, I go on these forums like, what the fuck is the ending of stock? And, like, and they're like, ha, 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 ha. you didn't get the decoder back to Perfiat with you. And I'm like, I don't save cycle. I'm still, a, I'm, I saved just before the wish grantor. Play the entire fucking game again. Well. And I did it again and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It's a nice reward to see, ah, I just had to do this. I just had to do this. I just did it. It makes sense. Well, I do hope that the next endings will satisfy me a bit more. I, I'm sure they will. Oh, they will. Hopefully at least one of them will. I've never seen the other one, now that I think about it. Ooh, it's a secret even for Hwangus. I've only seen one of the bad endings, too, so I'm just sitting there like, I want to control the world! Oh no, bad memories! Eh! So join us for next time as we avoid bad memories! <laughs> <laughs> yeah!